Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Gautami from Freshers Camp. Hope you all are doing great. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do so and hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about the TCS NQT aptitude test pattern and syllabus. So here, as you can see, here is a series of questions that we will be discussing right now. And here is the syllabus for the same. So first thing that you need to keep in mind is that there will be 15 questions which is supposed to be solved within 30, 30 minutes. And this is the TCS Ninja Aptitude questions. Okay, so first let's talk about the syllabus. In the syllabus, you need to know some basic mathematics that we had learned back in high school. The questions are related to averages, mixtures and allegations, percentages, permutations and combinations, profit and loss, algebra, ratio and proportions, probability, time, distance and speed, time and work, functions, geometry and numbers. So here are some of the previous questions, I mean questions from previous years. So here is the set one. Let's look at the first question. What is it? Number one, a to the power b means a raised to the power b. If fx is ax to the power 4 minus bx to the power 2 plus x plus 5, then and x to the power rather x to the function of minus 3 is equals to 2, then find the answer for function of f equals to f3, f of 3. So here how we need to do is that if f to the power of to the function of minus 3 results to be 2 then we need to put as x minus 3 in this very equation and write the equation as 2 from there we will be getting an equation relating to a and b next when we are going to find f function of 3 then in the same equation we need to put 3 in place of x and even there we will get another equation with a and b so let's see how they have proceeded with the sum and i have the explanation here so they say that the answer is b how did they find that out here it is f function of minus 3 they have written it down as they had been given in the function and this is the equation that they had got 81a minus 9b is equals to 0 so here on putting x equals to 3, we get the equation 81a minus 9b plus 8. As you can see from this first equation, we have already got 81a minus 9b is equals to 0. So in place of the same, we can write 0. So it will lead to the answer 0 plus 8, which will result in the form that f function of 3 happens to be 8. So 8 is the answer. And do we have 18 option? Yes, it is. Okay. The answer is number B. So it's right. Now here is another simple question number two. Okay, so what is it? One fourth of the tank contains fuel. When 11 liters of the fuel is poured into the tank, the indicator rests at the half mark. Find the capacity of the tank in liters. Okay, for this we can follow or cannot follow linear equation, but what I think the best option is that if it's full till one fourth, and we are filling another 11 liters and we are coming to the mark half then another one fourth is getting filled up so one fourth of x is basically equals to 11 thus we can say x is equals to 44 now that is a basic common sense now let's see how they have solved it well the answer is a so i'm right and according to the explanation yes they have followed the method of linear equations and here it is 1 by 4 of x plus 11 equals to half of x which gives the value of x as equals to 44 liters great now moving on to the next question question number three this time i will be pretty much sure not to show you the answer first so here we are number three you have been given a physical balance in seven weights of 47 46 43 48 49 42 and 77 kgs keeping weights on one pan and objects on the other what is the maximum you can weight less than 178 kgs okay my first approach to this question would be to add up the maximum weights that we have the first one can be 77 kgs next we have 47 
do we have 47 kg is the next thing no we have 48 and 49 all right so the top 3 can be 77 48 49 okay let's also take 47 what does this sum up to well this goes somewhere above 178 we need it to be less than 178 so what if we add the top 3 We are getting 172 or 174. I guess it is 174. Let's see what we have in answer here. All right. So probably I'm right here. It is 174 is the answer. And how have they done this explanation? Yes, the maximum weight can be weighed less than 178 kgs is 174. That is, uh, they found this out by 48 plus 49 plus 77, which equals to 174 kgs. Bingo. That's it. Now here we have number four. How many six-digit even numbers can be formed from the digits one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, so that the digits should not repeat and second last digit is even? Well, I think this is something related to permutation, combination, or probability. Maybe let's see how they have done this. Okay. Here, as the explanation goes. To form the six-digit even number, the last digit should be an even number. So three ways: two, four, or six. Exactly, they have said that the last digit has to be an even number. So we cannot place the odd ones, and we in the range we have two, four, and six as the even numbers. To fill the last digit and second last digit also should be even, for which it will take two ways to fill. The last two digits are filled in six ways. That is, two into three equals to six ways. Obviously, for filling one we have three ways, and for filling the other one we have two ways. So we are multiplying both the numbers, and we get six ways as the result. Now, the rest of the four digits can be filled in five ways. Uh, I mean, five permutation of four ways. So that happens to be one twenty ways. Hence, altogether, to fill six digit even number, we have one twenty into six, that is seven twenty ways. That's it. Here we have seven twenty as the answer. Now, moving on to the next question, we have out of a group. Okay, let me show you the answers. Okay, here they are. Now, out of a group of swans, seven by two times the square root of a total number are playing on the shore of the pond. The remaining two are inside the pond. Find the total number of swans. All right. So here, what we can do is, as we haven't been given a total number, we can actually try out with each of these. Let's try with sixteen first. So and let the total number be x. What if seven by two root over x happens to be sixteen plus two? As they are saying that the remaining two are inside the pond, so it will be sixteen plus two. No, am I saying it right? Oh no, it will be sixteen minus two. Yes, right. So in that case, probably, I think the answer will be sixteen according to my calculations. Let's see what they have done. All right, the answer is one. Yeah, I'm always right. Never mind. So you see here, it's x square is equals to seven x by two plus two happens to be, and they have solved this equation. There they have got the roots of x are four and minus half, as it is a swan, so it cannot be in a number as minus half. So the value is four. As here we are getting a possible value of x as four. Which is actually possible. Like, I mean, four swans are possible, so we can write x squared equals to sixteen, and thus sixteen is the total number of swans. Also, you can check it out with the other numbers. Probably, well, not probably. I'm sure you won't be getting a whole number. And as we are counting the number of swans here, so we need to get a complete a whole number. So sixteen is the answer. Now, moving on to the last question for today. Here we have. In a village, every weekend, three eighths of the men and one third of women participate in a social activity. If the total number of participants is fifty-four, and out of them eighteen are men, then find the total number of men and women in the village. All right. So here, this is simple linear equation. There is nothing to explain out here. Following the linear equation, probably they have got the answer B. Yes, it's written here. Let's see their explanation. Three eighth of men and one third of women participated, and given that the total number of participants are fifty-four, out of total participants fifty-four, eighteen were men, and the rest will be women. Obviously, here we have thirty-six women. 
subtracting 18 from 54. Now we have from this, we can say that 3 8 into men equals to 18. Therefore, men is equals to 48 in number. And one third of women equals to 36. That is, women comes to be 108. Then the total number of men and women upon adding 48 and 108, we get 156. Therefore, 156 is the answer. And that's all for today. Hope you liked our video. If you do so, then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And do follow us on Facebook and Instagram for the latest updates. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.